welcome to all in this video session we are discussing some important things about the data entry practicals in the secondary and senior secondary in your board exams uh, first of all we have start to discuss the secondary level data entry okay first we started secondary level data entry here the thing the secondary and senior secondary the thing will be same for the question paper okay the variations i will explain later on the session the same session we are discussing that thing okay the first of all we need to make it some idea what are the questions come from the board exam practicals okay we need some clarification about this okay the board exam practicals is come from only the four question for your board practical in the data entry purpose okay the secondary or senior secondary the number 229 or 336 both the uh, practical exam the question will only coming on four okay the all are compulsory okay and uh, one more thing already you know that the practical is the 60 and then theory also 40 how to give this 60 marks for your practical the mark distribution also we are discussing it now here okay we need some clarification about that how to give this 60 marks for you okay listen this is of fe and sc the formative assessment and summative assessment okay the first of all this thing for your regular participations that means their attendance okay for your pcb class attendance based we are giving this marks okay the pcb class attendance based we are giving this marks for you okay the 10 marks and uh, one, one important thing also the attendance will be given your in this video description also okay just log in the google form and enter your name and enrollment number and gender and enrollment id also okay and make your attendance the attendance purpose we are giving 10 marks okay the attendance we are giving 10 marks and next thing activities performed we are giving some activities in this pcb sessions okay you how to do these things based on your interactions that the thing we are giving that 10 marks and next one practical record book all the students must submit your practical record book on day of the examination all the students must submit your record book on the day of the practical examination okay you missed it for submission we have reduced your five marks for this purpose okay and next thing you may be enter the session pcp or the practical room you may be misbehave with the groups okay for your pa or some additional uh, other students based on your performance we are giving that marks for five okay group performance you are giving additional marks for five this is the things you are getting that 30 marks for the formative this 30 marks based on your behavior and your practicals and your performance based only you are, we are producing 30 marks the same thing to the secondary and the senior secondary also that the senior secondary also we are giving that same thing okay the same regular class 10 activity performance 10 practical record 5 at group activity we are providing five the 30 marks fa are common for secondary and senior secondary data entry and one more thing some two assessment we are giving additional 30 marks for this okay the 30 marks you know that this is fa and next 30 marks for sa the ass assessment of the activity performed okay we are giving some questions for you this is only the the situation for your pc okay we are giving the four questions for this purpose okay the four questions okay by example you may be consider this is your question paper okay we are giving this question paper for you the practical question paper the first question for the senior secondary and secondary both the data entry students the first questions come only the formatting based on documents formatting based documents okay what are the things coming on this topic you must enter one paragraph okay you must enter one paragraph you make it some bullet or number list and underline bold italic make a color of the text okay background color in this type of the things paragraph alignment changes in this type of the things come from your first first question paper okay first question sorry the first question come from in this type of the question and the next one for mail match second question the mail match okay the maximum the mail match question come from you just imagine this is your body of the letter okay just you imagine this is the body of the letter okay 
and use it for this two address okay the same two you just imagine now we are discussing the third, second question okay the first question over you just enter you do the some formatting changes okay after that you save this document you close the thing okay now it's a finish the first document again you based on this question use the document the question number one as body of the letter and using the mail merge facility and send the document the below mentioned persons okay below mentioned person persons here we are getting some persons or details okay that we are getting some person details the title first name last name designation instead city okay this is the address of that person okay now we want to send this body of the letter to that persons using the concept as mail match using the concept as mail match okay we are using for this concept and send that letter to this persons okay now you just imagine i enter this thing first okay first i enter that document just imagine this is my document okay this is my document i enter this document okay and i use it for this document and already i prepared one excel sheet first i open that excel okay in this time you first open that one excel book okay enter the same thing in your excel book the same content on your excel okay this thing to enter here okay after this you save this document in your folder okay give the name as data source give this name as save this thing into your folder and give the name as data source and close this excel okay we are separately discussing this file mail merge in your next class also okay the additional video i will upload this thing okay now we are discussing in the first now i open that and select that mailing tab start mail match step by step wizard select that letter option first step here there are six steps are there okay the second step current document okay click to next okay use the existing list okay already we have type no excel or oh, just click at the browse option go to the folder the specification folder okay the employee address i will give the name as employee address okay the sheet one i will select it here okay data will be check it once okay good after that i insert that fields title give the space first name give the space last name and put enter for the my purpose i will giving enter and designation and enter institute i will enter address okay i want to check it once this thing will be correct or not i have select the preview option i get it that changes okay the unbook the document is ready okay the only one letter is ready now okay i want to check to another record also i click at the next button the content only the two orders only change okay the bono and see no and why issue okay only the four records are there but the document of the body is only one okay after that this step 3 next i you click at the next button the four again you click at next and five also you click at the next okay the final stage you select that edit individual letter okay here we have changes only the third step and the sixth step okay edit individual letters select all and click it okay now the letter is ready the unbu is separated letter okay and bound is separate letter okay the sinu is separate letter why should is separate letter finally you save this document name as mail merge okay give the document name as mail merge document i click it save this the mail merge document is ready this is the second question for your board practicals okay and next one the third question the create blow mentioned using ms excel and calculations changes mentioned below okay you just enter the things in your excel book okay just imagine this is your practical book i give the some examples you make it this okay this is the thing you just enter and make it some calculations total how to find the total using sum 
the range you select the range c2 to e2 click it enter the total we are getting and click it twice or drag it get it that data to others also okay and then average equal to average open that bracket the look c2 to e2 close that and click it twice and find that maximum to the subject okay the question is find that maximum to the subject we are finding the subject based maximum so we are getting equal to max is the formula for finding max okay select the thing for maximum and close the brackets and put enter the minimum equal to min and close the open the brackets and select that minimum volume and close that and put enter okay you want to generate other three cells also you just click it and drag it other cells okay now we have find it that thing after this is next question you just imagine next question create a bar chart for this data okay you select the data go to the insert tab select the bar okay you select the chart this is a method for creating a bar chart okay you want to change this thing change any type of date chart you select the chart and click it okay okay the sum method here the secondary will be reflected all the cells you just remove that thing you just select and drag it Okay, and the next one, next question, here just look at, find the total, uh, finding average we are find it, and find that maximum using for max formula, minimum, minimum formula, create the bar graph using that method, save this final file as stored as mock list. Okay, this is the method for creating the Excel file. Next one, creating a PowerPoint presentation. First, open that PowerPoint presentation, blank one. Okay. Okay, make it the blank one, PowerPoint presentation first. And how many slides you want? First, you may insert the slides. Okay. Our question paper is shows three slides. Okay. First one, second one, third one. Okay. The same thing we are making that slides. Slide on two, three. Okay. The first slide we want to insert that flower. Hit okay. this floral design. Okay. Now I have in this examination time we are giving same pictures to you. Now in this situation I select my own pictures from this my PC. Okay, now I selected any one of the picture from this. Okay, something. I change it. I think it's better to change that image. Select that insert and pictures. Okay, I selected any one of the picture from PCP. Okay, good habits. I select that thing, good habits. Okay, I select that picture, good habits. Okay, I select that and change based on our question paper. I am, I am getting the structure. After enter the content of this image, here the, it's giving floral design. Okay, floral design. Okay. 
you want to change the, some color to this okay i want to remove the background thing select and right click and cut okay the first slide will be ready and the same thing you make it the second and third slides also enter the text to given in any case it's asking some animation effects to this okay select the text go to the animation custom animation add it select that thing okay fly out you set it any one of the uh, effects to this for the text purpose you want to make it some effects to so first i selected and show it this thing for how to run this powerpoint presentation using that f5 shortcut key or view tab slideshow view tab slideshow i click it the right arrow key from here okay the text to be fly out the slide on 2 3 will be visible on here you want to get some common background to this select the design option select any one of the common design from this okay and second one you want to the same thing you just go to the insert pictures and insert good habits okay you want to change that thing okay You just enter the text over here okay in the question paper we are giving some text just enter the text of two here after that you save this file based on your question paper the file name as save the file name as do practical dot ppt okay okay the in this four questions come from your board practical also first one is data entry in this based on data entry we are getting first question formatting based the second one mail match the third one excel based and then fourth one powerpoint presentation based on the same topic to come from senior secondary level also the question paper toughness will be increased on that situations okay uh, the example you take at the excel here that the secondary level we are getting questions for some average in this base but the senior secondary level finding that percentage of this value and uh, product of this value and multiply with this values in this based on questions come from on that area okay we are giving some toughness to the your question paper but the concept will be same for that four questions okay okay i think we get some clarification about this and remain that points to here the secondary and senior secondary level the question paper pattern will be same okay the four questions come from your board practicals the board practical you are getting the 60 the based on the 60 we are splitting two categories FASC the FA30 SA30 okay the 30 marks you are do the 20 marks for practicals at the time of exam all okay the 20 your final result of your performance and then next to five marks for viva next to five marks for your viva so the maximum time we are giving that viva questions with your question paper you just write it and answer for that questions in the fill in the blanks based questions come from your viva the complete question the questions come from only for your textbook okay inside of the textbook you must study each and every line the viva questions come from on that area only okay the five marks we are produce, giving that purpose viva purpose we are giving five marks okay and and the same thing for secondary and senior secondary both are same okay and next video sessions i will show what are the things you write that practical record book okay what are the things you write that practical record book what are the thing is uh, you must do that in practical other things we are discussing one by one at later video sessions okay i will give some uh, attendance and important questions and other things also i will give some descriptions you just use it for the things for your additional reference okay thank you bye bye